Hi, my name is Jeff. Hey, today we're going to go over actually three quick tips all together. Uh, the first one is to back up. How do I back up my SharePoint list that I'm using? If you're putting critical data in your SharePoint list, now's the time to back those up. And then the second one is how do I make a backup copy of my list so that if something fails, I can easily um, add data from a CSV file into that list and get it back up and running based on our nightly backups that we're doing with this first section of the video. And then the last one, last part of the video, we'll talk about how to actually copy a Power Automate flow so that you, if you have more than one list, you just set this up once and then you just copy uh, the other ones and become very fast to replicate. So stay tuned and we're going to jump right to it. Alrighty, so let's take a look here. So here we have a backup SharePoint file daily right here, this recurrence. Oh, by the way, if you want to create, you're just going to hit create right here and you're going to say scheduled cloud fill. You're going to name it and hit create. And that's where we are right here. So again, if, if I have the printed out instructions here with the screenshots, if you look for my books on, on Zulu or amazon.com, um, just search by my name and you'll find my books out there. And they have all of these step-by-step -step guides for you or do it for free and just do screenshots or watch the video. So either way it works. All right, so here we have a schedule, we're good there. Next item we're gonna do is the get items. Now all you're gonna do is you can see here, is you're gonna to point to the address and point to the list name. That's it, pretty simple, let's move on. Next thing you're gonna do is create a CSV table. So this action is actually called create CSV table. So you just go to right here, add action, and you just type in create CSV table, and you're going to see it as a data, a data operation. Um, well, where is it? Right there. Okay. Now, so you're going to add that, and this one's very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to say value from the get items right there. So you're just going to click value. Okay. And then you can see that right there in the notes, value from get items. This current time is so that we can put a label on the email, excuse me, on the file that we're saving on this CSV type, take this CSV file. So here, let's just go ahead and go into that. And this is the code right here. And you can see it highlighted here, UTC now M. And what that's gonna do is just put in the date, for example, June 1, okay? And you're gonna do that. Now this is a compose action. So if you want this action, you're gonna type in compose here. And it's another data operator and you're going to go ahead and select that okay and and then when you do that then you'll just click on here you'll hit expression and then you'll type in that uh, utc now expression now depending upon where you are in using flow it may look a little bit different for you but that's how it works all right next thing we want to do is create the file we're almost done with this one so we're backing up, this is to a um, OneDrive. So here, this action is create file, and you just search for it. Notice the first one right there is OneDrive for business. That's what we wanna to go to, OneDrive for business, okay? And then um, here, we're gonna just click on the folder. You're gonna see root, click on the arrow, and then find the folder in your OneDrive, which mine is right there, list backup. Don't click on the arrow, you click on the folder itself, okay? And that's what's gonna give you there. Then you can put in whatever text you want there. This output right here is from the current time. So this is the output from here, and then this output is from here. And remember to get those outputs, they just come up right there. See, right? CSV, current time, and that's how that works. So uh, pretty simple, plug those in, you're good to go. So that is kind of the first part of how to create this backup. Then every night or whatever your frequency is set to, I run mine at 2 a.m. in the morning every day. It'll just run and it will create this copy right here. So I just ran a couple today. It'll just go ahead and create those for you, okay? Now, let's go ahead and move to the next topic area. And here are those notes that you can copy. How do I copy an existing list? So if you have a list itself, now notice here, if I look at the CSV file, for example, let's look at priority tasks, CSV file. 
I look at this file, notice here I've got some big data fields and I've got lots of data fields in here. You can see the columns across the top. I have a lot of information in here. And not only do I have information, but if you look at the, um, the, the actual list itself, let's go ahead and go in there, priority tasks, you'll see that there's complex information within the list as well. So we have some, some fields that are calculated, for example. I mean, it's not overly complex what's going on here, but if you have a lot of complex information within, within the list itself, you're gonna want, you're gonna want to make a copy of the structure of the list itself. Then um, if something happens, all you have to do is open up that backup copy, open up your spreadsheet, copy the data, and then you pop it right back right back into, um, into your list. So let's take a look at one of these lists that I've already done, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Well, let's show you how to do it real quick. So here, it says open up SharePoint. So I just went to this gear and said site contents, by the way, and then new list, okay? So I have a new list, boom. We open up SharePoint, we choose new list, okay? And then we choose from an existing list. So we're gonna say, we're gonna choose a new list, we're gonna choose from an existing list, as you see there, and then we're going to select that list. So let's go ahead and just go down to that list that I've already done. There it is right there, Priority Tasks Backup Shell. So there you go, one, two, and three. Now, here you go, Priority Tasks Backup Shell, and you're gonna create it. Backup Shell, you're gonna create it. Now, you're gonna go in, I'm just gonna show you, and that's it, by the way. You just hit Create, as we did over here. You name it, hit Next, and then hit Create. But I wanna show you kind of the importance of this here we're in that backup shell. We're gonna to go to, um, oops, I'm already there, into here. Notice here, I've, I've gone ahead and retained all of those settings, right? This is one of the reasons why we want to do this is because we wanna retain everything exactly the way it is. And when you, just, when you just have this, you don't know if this is a text field or a numeric field. And then when you go to do your restore and you have flows that are using that list, it's gonna dork up everything, flows or even power apps that are using it. So you'll wanna use this uh, backup shell uh, to do that. The last thing we're gonna talk about here is, and I apologize, I'm, I'm trying to make this quick, is um, we're gonna go ahead and go on out here and we're gonna do a backup of, of one of these, okay? So here, let's just say I wanna do a backup. I'm gonna click here Okay, right here, I'm gonna hit save as, okay? And then it's gonna come up and it's gonna give me something to save it as. I'm just gonna name it. And sometimes Power Automate can be slow. I'm just gonna give it a name once it comes up and hit save. And then the other critical thing to do here is to um, turn it on. So inside of the when you're doing testing and modifying, see, so I can do a backup here, right? And then I wanna go in, I wanna click on this and I wanna say, well, there's one that's off right there, turn on. Because when I'm in modifying the template itself, the flow, excuse me, when I'm in modifying the flow itself, I wanna be able to turn it on and test it. And because um, the testing is absolutely critical, um, to the flow itself, you'd have to come save the flow, come back out, turn it on, and go back into the flow to do the test. I just turn it on to begin with. So that's it. I hope I hope this works for you. It works for me. I, I enjoy creating these these um, list backups because I put a lot of important data in lists. And I want to make sure it's always recoverable.